Hi, I'm Emily Hagstrom with ICOSA, and I'm here in Houston, Texas for IHS Sarah Week with 2,500 of the energy industry's top executives talking about the most pressing issues around the world. We as a country are importing 800,000 barrels a day into the Gulf Coast. These refineries are tooled up for this kind of heavy crude that could come from Canada. So getting off some of those imports, uh, bringing that down from Canada makes an imminent amount of sense. As we look at the growth in the oil sands, we project that it's going to be moving forward over the next 20 years in a significant growth pattern. And so from that perspective, we need to find the markets for our oil sands. The big market, of course, is the U.S. Gulf Coast. So Keystone is quite simply a project to connect that incredible resource in Alberta with that huge heavy refining capacity in the U.S. Gulf Coast. And I think it's important to remember that those U.S. refineries, they're not processing light sweet crude right now and they're going to shift to heavy when the Canadian comes. They're right now processing heavy crude from Venezuela, from Saudi Arabia and Mexico. And all we're going to do is replace those foreign crudes with crude from Canada, albeit at a much more economic price. And so will it be another pipeline that goes down that's a reversal of an existing gas line? Will it be by rail? Will it be by barge or other ways to be able to get there? The industry sees that the demand is needed in the U.S. Gulf Coast refineries who can process this heavy oil and the supply in Canada is growing such that it's a really good match. And the market will find a way to be able to get there. We just think Keystone XL is the easiest, the most advanced, and probably the highest technology of a new pipeline ever installed in North America to be able to do that. One of the most uh, unfortunate allegations that opponents of Keystone have made is the suggestion that by uh, st somehow stopping the approval of Keystone XL, you'll stop the development of the oil sands. Nothing could be further from the truth. The upstream oil and gas sector represents something in the range of 20% of Canada's GDP. It is an absolute priority for the Canadian government and the Alberta government to continue to develop that resource for the well-being of, of Canadians, and, and it is just going to happen. It's important for Canada, it's important for for uh, the United States at the end of the day to be able to get access to that crude and into the refineries to create our energy security. And I think the, the naysayers out there that claim it's such a dirty crude are, are misinformed. If we're worried about the environment, which is what the allegations against Keystone seem to, to have to deal with, it is a fact that rail movements of oil produce three times the GHGs as movement by pipeline and they are orders of magnitude more likely to have an environmental spill or other incidents. So if you really do care about the environment, then you, would, you should want that oil moving via pipeline rather than by rail.